that cab driver was not happy with me at all. I mean, I looked for a grab, uh, tuk-tuk right in front of him, and the price of the tuk-tuk on grab was one dollar. And this guy was going to charge me and um, and the German guy two dollars and three dollars respectively. And so, I mean, even if we were going to share the drive, why would we have to pay two dollars and an additional three dollars? Uh, we should then effectively share the drive. So uh, I just went on to the app, searched for my hotel, and my hotel came to a dollar. And then this guy gave me this angry look and <laughs> then all the friendliness disappeared. I mean guys, this is, it is what it is. I, I know the hustle's real. And I know that you got to do what you have to, but I don't believe in, in scams like that, you know. Um, obviously, a lot of people are not informed. A lot of people won't know about using the app, especially the, uh, the German guy. He didn't have the app and he wasn't sure how he was going to get there. So he was just going to take the first option that came along. And I wasn't about that because I've learned my lesson, obviously, within uh, in Thailand as well as in Siem Reap. So there you have it, guys. It happens and I understand that these guys are doing what they have to do to survive. But then maybe just charge us the two dollars and uh, have us share the drive. Let me just give you my first impression of Phnom Penh. And wow guys already I'm sensing a vibe here man. Ooh, the city seems busy. This is the capital of Cambodia by the way. And what I forgot to mention in Siem Reap is that they drive on the right hand side of the road. Not like in Thailand where they drive on the left hand side of the road. So obviously it's the European influence, the, the colonization of back in the day. I'm not going to get into much of the history but you know what I mean. So I'm on my way to the Sunset River. Well I want to do the Sunset River cruise. So I'm on my way to the river. But sunset is at uh, 18.10. It is now 17.55. So if I don't get there by sunset, then there's not going to be any sunset cruise. Then it's just a normal cruise for me. <laughs> or after sunset cruise. Wow, this place is busy, guys. Wow, look at this. It will take me about 15 minutes to get there, so I'll get there just in time. But I think that with it being overcast... Well, actually it's not overcast. But I think I might have missed the sunset already. Let's see what we got. Maybe we get lucky. Okay, but now, so this guy was driving on the wrong side of the road. He's going the other way. Check it out. Right, I got to cross. Where do I cross? Can I just do... Okay, I'm gonna take a shot. Ah, okay. Found my gap, girl. Shout out to my people from Cairo. Gave me a proper lesson in how to cross the road. I check this vibe, man. This is on the riverside. This is the, the path on the riverside. Okay, let me get to the right name because I'm missing things up here, guys. I'm sorry. Well, this is riverside path. And uh, up ahead, I see boat. And I, it looks like some form of a jetty over there. It looks like some activity. Well, besides this activity, the gyms and stuff. What a cool vibe. I'm loving Phnom Penh thus far. Wow, I had no idea. Check this out, guys. Well, wait, wait, maybe you can jump any of these ferries over here. I see there's a pathway down. So maybe I have to, I don't have to go all the way up. 
to that side. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes. How do I get to those boats down there? Oh, we were, you would like to ride boat? Yes, I'd okay, like to. One person for five dollars, it takes one hour for one trip. Okay. And it's around the um, Noria Bridge, we'll break over there. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, so where, where does it go to? Uh, we start from here and go to the Noria Bridge, and after that, we go to uh, Lake Bong, I know. Dang, uh, Dang, Okay, but it's gonna get dark soon, right? So I won't see the sun. <laughs> okay, and I can take this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a... it's nearly start now. One hour for five dollar for one person. Okay, all right. And all the same price for all the other ones? Uh, I don't think so. Is it? Are they ch more expensive or cheaper? Maybe the big one is expensive more than this. And... Okay, but this one is five dollar. Okay, all right. I'll do that one. I'm taking this boat, guys. Yeah. Do they serve food on there as well? Okay. Don't worry. If you would like to buy something from outside, you yep. can bring it up. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, there we go, guys. Five dollars. All right. Thank you. Can I just go? Yeah. All right. So this is the way. Thank you. All right. Let's go. I didn't even check. I didn't validate or anything. Uh, it might be cheaper elsewhere, but we're missing the sun. I mean, there's no. There's no more sun. So, but I'm taking the cruise anyway. Okay, I'm going upstairs. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. All right, let me find a seat. Maybe this one. This one taken? Good times. Day one in Phnom Penh. Just arrived. Uh, just had time to freshen up in my hotel, get settled in, and then immediately I came out looking for the sunset cruise. So after this, um, this is gonna take one hour. After this, I'm gonna go to the night market, seeing that it is night, and then there's also the central market. So I think it's two separate markets, but I wanna check it out. Both of them. so some ladies looking at me over here, funny. It's okay, it's all good. It is what it is. Do what we have to do, right? So, we're off. We're leaving. I'm gonna switch to a different camera soon because um, it's getting quite dark. So, uh, I want you to see what I see through the naked eye. So, the other camera will probably capture that better. So, I'm going to use the Osmo Puppet 3. I'm using the Osmo Action at the moment, so it doesn't do that great in low light. But the Puppet 3 is much better, and there's also a setting for low light. So, uh, you can use the camera uh, in its default setting, or you can switch to a low light setting, and it makes things much quieter in the evening. So. I'm just trying to bring you the best guys. That's all I want to do. Alright. And I hope I am I hope I'm doing a good job. Let me know. Alright, so I've just confirmed that it is five dollars for foreigners and it's one dollar for locals. So uh, I think it works like that in a lot of countries where the locals pay a cheaper price. That's where sometimes you gotta show your ID or your well in the case of the foreigners they can obviously hear from your accent. Um, <laughs> You know that you're a foreigner, so um, so yeah. In my case, uh, I spoke English to the lady straight away, so she obviously knew I was a foreigner. So uh, I think I fit in some places, you know, but <laughs> apparently not here, man. Ah, 
I've been lucky. That's for most of the places that I've been to that I could fit in. And I didn't seem like a foreigner, especially when I went to Egypt, when I went to Pakistan, when I went to India, Mexico, uh, where else? Uh, the Philippines, so many places, guys. In fact, even in Thailand. So, but it is what it is. You're not going to get away with it. So maybe you just shouldn't speak at all. Um, so it's five dollars for foreigners, and uh, totally worth it, guys. Because I mean, if I think about places that I've been to and I had to go on a on a boat ride that was so expensive, um, I would pay up to uh, what's it, three hundred rand. That would be about in fifteen up to fifteen dollars for a boat ride. You know, so uh, yeah, I paid five dollars. So all good. I mean, there's no sunset. The app definitely showed that the sunset is at uh, 10 minutes past 6. I'm still gonna enjoy this boat ride, man.